One in four women will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Adam Bjarns, and here to talk about this and much more, Letitia Wilson. She's the executive director of CARDVA, which is the Center Against Rape and Domestic Violence. This is a startling number that you want to bring down. What are you guys doing to help prevent this? Absolutely. So we have a service center here located in Corvallis, Oregon. We serve Lynn and Benton counties, and we provide a 24-hour hotline for people to access our services and really connect with our organization to talk about the violence that they're experiencing. And we're extremely interested in helping them safety plan when they're trying to leave an abusive partner or just gain support as they go through the process, because it's really hard to leave someone who's abusive. I imagine it's a difficult job to have to ha deal with each individual case. Um, when you look at this, uh, I mean, one in four women, uh, it, it, those, are, those are just bad numbers whenever you look at it. Absolutely. It's definitely a hard job. So we have advocates, which are our staff members, that are definitely doing what they can on each individual case to safety plan. And we work as a team together just to support each other and come up with the best situation for the person trying to access our services. Well, Letitia, you guys work hand in hand with law enforcement as well. I mean, that's a good partnership to have, to have the two of you guys working together, right? Yeah, absolutely. We work with law enforcement in the dangerous cases. So when someone is potentially going to be killed by their intimate partner, as well as some of the cases that might not rise to that level, but what we're doing with them is evaluating the situation. How dangerous is it? Is the person at risk of being killed by their partner? And then we're able to step in, provide information, education, safety planning, in an effort to prevent the death that someone's gonna be killed by their intimate partner. 2003 and 2010, between those years, 207 people in the state of Oregon were, uh, were killed because of domestic violence. I mean, those numbers, you, are you seeing them on a decline at least now? I think we are seeing them on a decline, especially in this area. We're working with law enforcement to prevent the deaths from happening, but what we're also doing is involving the rest of the state. So we use a tool that's developed by John Hopkins University. It's research-based and tested, and we've implemented that so that we can reduce the number of deaths as well as carry it out to other counties in the state of Oregon, train them, get them involved to hopefully reduce those numbers. And we've seen it decline, but not as significant as we would like to see. What are some of the educational things that you guys are doing to make this go on the continue on the decline? So we have many different efforts in the county that we're trying to use to increase awareness. We have been spreading our name, our hotline number everywhere. So we have a 24-hour hotline number that people can access, and we post that everywhere that we can, as well as get friends and family members that have that number, because we know that that's where someone's really going to go when they want to seek services. They are going to go to a friend or a family member. But we post our number. We have educational events in the community. We also work with youth in an effort to start this at a younger age that youth are starting to identify that these are violent behaviors and they either don't want to be in a violent relationship or they want to change their behavior so that they aren't being the abuser in a relationship. So we use some of those efforts as well as just any community organization can contact us for educational opportunities. How early an age is there for you guys to bring up this topic? Because I know it is very sensitive. Yeah, it definitely is. So younger kids are usually getting education about stranger danger, which isn't necessarily what we focus on. So we're starting to focus on that middle school age. So sixth grade is usually the soonest that we talk about it, but we might not necessarily talk about rape and domestic violence in that context, but we're going to talk about masculinity and men's use of violence towards women at this younger age to try and shift the way that they think about women and violence in general. Well, three women on average killed by a current or former partner each day in America. I mean, that is a huge problem that obviously you guys want to see get on the de decline, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think I have a job every day because there's violence that still exists, and I would love to not have a job, but I am happy to continue in this fight every day. Letitia Wilson, Executive Director of CARDVA, the Center Against Rape and Domestic Violence. Thanks for your time. Do appreciate it. All right, that's going to do it for us here on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Adam Bjarnson on behalf of everyone here. Thank you so much for watching from the Ocean Observing Center, operated by Oregon State University. Have a great day, everyone.